Oh, happy Halloween! Or technically, day before Halloween, because I'm recording this the day before, and it's also going to be out the day before. Whoa. Uh, yeah. That was an intro. Um, I don't know if that Precursor Rex back there is supposed to be dead or napping. As per the usual Primal Carnage trend, Halloween's their biggest event of the year, and of course, they've added a bunch of stuff for Halloween. Uh, because, you know, dinosaurs versus humans, blood and guts and gore and stuff, so it ma only makes sense that Halloween is their biggest selling point and event. And I've been gifted by the developers some of these things in here to show you. Pretty much everything I'm about to show you is available in the store, so uh, if any of these uh, are to your liking, uh, that's where you can find them. First, we have the Temptus Tyrannosaurus, the fury of a hurricane packed into one angry fossil. Obviously, it's blue, so of course I'm gonna like this one. And the patterns on it are just really nice in my opinion. Next up, this one is a free drop, and it's the mutation, the veteran Spinosaurus. As you can see, he's got a scar over his eye. Exposed bone, more exposed bone on his sail. Yeah, this guy is a mutation, meaning that you can put whatever skin you want on him. Like this skin right here, um, you can really see the bone a lot more. It pops out a lot more. I guess like darker colored skins would probably be the best to, uh, oh! Yeah, that's right, I have the, uh, all the ultimate skins now, because there's a DLC out. This DLC is the ultimate DLC. Basically, it gives you every ultimate skin in the game. So, uh, I now have those so I can showcase them a little bit. Um, you know, one example is the Spino. And apparently, it turns the bones green, which is insane, and I didn't know that until I selected it just now. Here's an example of one of the Ultimate Edition DLC skins, the uh, Kilowatt Nova. If you wanted to, you could probably call this guy Golden Freddy with his uh, gold coloration and very distinct top hat. We've got the Microcurus Oviraptor, which is obviously based on the Dinochirus. Dinochirus, Dinochirus, whichever you prefer to say. Tomato, tomato, same thing. And it comes with the diseased oviraptor skin. I like the crest detail on this thing. It's a very unique take. I don't have anything new for the flyers other than the ultimate skins. So uh, we've got a Super Saiyan Terra, as well as a uh, Deep Sea Tupa, you know, classic. Speaking of Tupa, this thing got nerfed like crazy in this patch, and I have not played the nerfed version yet. So apparently it functions more like Carno, Sarah, and Packy now, in the sense that you need to get up to a certain speed before your charge actually does damage. So thank God. Um, so yeah, we will see how this guy functions and if he's really bad now or if he's still too good or if he's balanced or what have you. We'll take a look at that. Uh, we've also got a Super Saiyan Dilophosaurus. We're supposed to have the impossible cryo skin, but currently there's a bug in which it shows up as this skin, which is also another Halloween skin. Oh, it must be this one. Yeah, it's this one. The Regificus cryo, and the skin is called the psychedelic cryo. So until this bug gets fixed, we are the owners of the psychedelic cryo until it will become the impossible cryo. We've got a couple things for Carnotaurus. We've got the chameleon Carno. I had to ask for this one because, I mean, Lost World Carnotaurus reference. Uh, you know, come to think of it, I don't think the Carno is actually described to look like this in the book with like, you know, a very slender body and chameleon looking horns. However, it's still a chameleon, nonetheless, and I would assume it can camouflage. And actually, we technically could make it camouflage and change color if we mess with the uh, skin intensity and color tone here. Yeah, see that? We could just use the sliders and whoa, he's a chameleon. Look at- oh, whoa, look at that. That's nice. <gasps> That's even nicer. That's really no- damn! I like the color slider on this guy. This guy's really a chameleon. We can make him purple, we can make him blue, we can make him green. But unfortunately, we're gonna have to get rid of him for just a second because we also have another phantom skin, the Phantom Carnotaurus. This is another in the line of the phantom skins. Uh, I think there's a Phantom Rex that I don't have, and I have the Phantom Dilo from last year. Yeah, look at this guy. I like this one. It's really cool. And the Carno has been added to the crew. And uh, here's a Ceratosaurus. I, I love this Ceratosaurus skin so much. I played that as it in a video that's not out yet. It's out on Depleon's channel, actually. I still have yet to edit it. I've just put it on back burner. So I love this skin so much. Look at the iron horn. That's amazing. But 
Uh, unfortunately, we have to get rid of him for a sec because I gotta show you the Soul Collector Ceratosaurus. As the name would imply, your time is up. And he's got a cool little circle on him. I'm assuming that's where he puts the souls. I love my Edgelord skins. Even if I like to make fun of my edgelord skins, they're a guilty pleasure of mine. We've got a lot for Packy here. I really like this mutation, so I had to pick it up. I like the beak, I like the shape of the spikes. Very cool. Snapdragon Pachycephalosaurus is the skin. Next up we have the Mandarin Pachycephalosaurus. And this guy comes with a mutation of his own. The Marginocephalos Pachy, which is obviously based on a Ceratopsian. He's a lot bulkier, and of course he's got two massive horns. And a Ceratopsian-shaped beak on top of that. That's weird. Look at all these other Pachy skins. They're all uh, standing in their little pose, and then this one's just sleeping. What's up with that? Yeah, this is the gazing Pachycephalosaurus, by the way. Ah, uh, he's gazing at you. There's a lot of eyeballs on him. If you've ever wanted a big rifle goth GF, the goth scientist is for you, complete with fishnets, and of course, a little pteranodon emblem on her back. Uh, there are so many layers of irony here. Whoever made this knows that scientist players also main pteranodon. They know the vibes of skins they like to go for as well. This one will be a hot seller in the primal community, I'm convinced of it. I didn't even know I had this, actually. A scientist has got a rose in her hair. That's pretty cool. That actually goes well together. For Mr. Pathfinder here, we have a machete skin as a samurai sword. So uh, here you go, normal machete right here and samurai sword. And there's an outdated 2014 meme for you, but still nice to see referenced in the game nonetheless. When was that phrase like popular and funny? I, I don't even know. I don't even know what it's from to be honest. As far as my knowledge goes, it's just the haha -ha funny anime phrase. And as a commando exclusive, this is something I personally requested. The Sea Scourge Durag. Yarg. It's pretty cool. I, I had to get it. I, 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 I love the pirate vibe. And sorry about this guy up here but we have a Ceratosaurus icon to replace him with, and I think it's just metal as hell. Without further ado, let's hop on to Depera's Carnage, join the game, and have a little bit of fun. Pogski, I'm your big fan. Uh, thank you. Not sure where Pogski came from, but I'll take it. Oh, okay, I actually got that. Whoa, what the? Lucifer killed me. That That's nice, fitting for Halloween, I suppose. The scientist assault cannon got nerfed, much to my dismay. I'm very disappointed by it. Um, I don't know why they would do something so evil. Uh, they nerfed the crit damage, and I think they nerfed the fire rate? No, the fire rate feels about the same. Uh, I think they just nerfed the crit damage. Um, and it's 1.5 instead of 2 times now. I didn't think it was that OP, but apparently a lot of people thought it was OP. I just thought it was like, you know... The, the, the slow fire rate kind of makes up for the high damage, or the high damage makes up for the slow fire rate. Um, so, I mean, it still does the 250. So we're gonna play- what the- what? What? What am I- What is going on today? What is that? Dude, what? Do you see that? What? What? Uh, okay, everyone sees it. Attack on time. Yeah, Jesus. What? What am I looking at right now? Who or what is that? It's- it looks like Christmas lights. No, they're- they're the antlers. What? Yeah, they're Christmas antlers on a... I don't know what they're on. Who is this? I I, I couldn't tell you. Jesus. Um, okay, get, get this is such a weird video so far. Then again, what pesky video isn't the most bizarre thing in the world? Uh, there we go, first kill. Um, recently, they nerfed Carno because every dinosaur game nerfs Carno. And uh, it's kind of a really weird nerf. They lowered its damage when it roars. So like with my little roar ability icon activated down there, my damage gets lowered from 85 on a charge to 63 on a charge. And it's such a petty change because if you do math, most human classes except for Pyro have 150 health, right? So 85 damage brings a human down to 65 health. So if you hit a human with your normal charge, then roar, and then hit them with another max charge, your damage is lowered to 63, so it leaves the human with two health left. So it's just kind of like, why? You know? Um, okay, see, now I, okay. Th that happened. Carno already has low health as it is. 
So, I don't know. I feel like that's a change they should revert. It's silly to make dinosaurs have disadvantages when they roar. Like, the entire point is supposed to be its, uh, utility. And, uh, you're actually using the Trank Rifle? Only I'm allowed to do that. Get out of here. Oh, hello, Pyro. Wow, I'm bad today. You can tell I haven't played this game in, like, a week or two. I think it's been, like, two weeks, maybe. Smack! No, Sarah. I swear to God, Sarah. Nope, that's my kill. Apparently not. Personally, I don't agree with dinosaurs having negatives on their roar abilities. The, the negative is already that they can't attack during their roar ability duration as they activate it. Um, the only one that kind of makes sense is Nova Raptor, but they changed that anyway, because it used to be you roared and then you lost all your stamina. Now it's just uh, you lose stamina for every attack you do, just a little chunk. So you can still run around like crazy and you don't reach in. But I don't know, I feel like lowering the Carno's damage, especially when he only has a thousand health and is a huge target, was a little bit silly. But I mean, it's not like the end of the world or anything, I just think that's something that they should revert. Are there any other weird balance changes recently? I don't know. They did some minor balance changes this patch, other than the, uh, what's it called, the Assault Cannon nerf. You know what, let me pull up the change notes and see if there's anything noteworthy. They nerfed OV's Pounce, which it needed because last update they buffed it way too much, so they just reverted it back to what it was. Um, OV Raptor has a Roar icon now uh, for his Roar ability, which apparently he didn't have before. Uh, Carno can sprint while stunned now. Reduce stun duration for bruisers as a whole. Shotgun has a crit multiplier now. These are all like the big ones. All these Tupa changes are here. Ultimate Edition DLC is a thing. Tyrant buff overlays are now visible to all players. Okay, so if you're a human, you can see that you're fighting a buff dinosaur. If uh, you're a dinosaur, and you can see which teammates of yours are buffed, uh, etc., etc. As a tyrant, you can see who's buffed. All that stuff. And uh, let's test out some Tupa. Okay, so still feels pretty much the same. I think they just fixed some exploits, because before, there was a thing where you could, like, hover like that and reset your charge. And it was really BS, to be honest. And, well, wh why am I... I'm getting really bad frames today, and I don't know why. Maybe it's just because there's a lot of players on the server. It also might have to do with the fact that this uh, energy trail is happening as I fly around as a Tupa. Who knows? We've got a Halloween 2023 gift to open, so I'm going to open this for the server. And give all these ungrateful little turds a gift. And we get the Satanic Royal Acro as a little perk for being so generous. Yo, Pesky Gifted. That's right, me, Pesky Gifted. Subscribe. Look how generous I am. I'm such a good person. That's why you should sub. Uh, speaking of bad person pretending to be a good one, let's look at the Satanic Acro. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see if we just raise the intensity. Oh yeah, I like this thing with the intensity raised. I like the purple underbelly. It, it looks very reptilian and, well, demonic. I, I guess that's supposed to be the point of the skin, isn't it? It would be cool to see like a uh, a reverse version of the skin, maybe like the, the godly royal acro, make it like white and gold or something. I don't know. Th that would be a very cool contrast. Maybe like have the same pattern as like with like brighter, more heavenly looking colors. That would be cool to have like a counterpart for that skin. I would really like to see that personally. Later. Okay, I'm back. I just restarted my computer and now I'm getting 140 FPS. I I, I, I don't understand. I, I hate laptops so much. You have no idea. Never buy a gaming laptop. As funny as trackpad gaming is, it's genuinely such a mistake. I'm kind of feeling Pathfinder. I want to get some funny double barrel gameplay on this channel finally. And look at that. We got our machete. Yeah. Oh, uh, we got a Carnotaurus. Bam! Uh, he's coming back. Machete! No, okay, he's dead, he's dead. We did a lot of damage there. Dilo, don't Ceratosaurus come in this way. He's gonna have to jump over here. And then I'm gonna blow him the hell up. Bam! Ooh, got him with the Tomahawk. By the way, I love this uh, DB skin I've got. It's the Tsunami DB. Yeah, it's awesome. I don't remember where or how I got this thing. I might have dropped it after completing daily challenges. I'm not quite sure, but uh, yeah, it's pretty sick. Also, before I forget, uh, the name of the Primal Carnage PS4 uh, update remake has uh, been revealed, and they're now calling the Primal Carnage PS4 version uh, Primal Carnage Evolution instead of, okay, bye. Bye, world. Uh, yeah, it's now called Primal Carnage Evolution instead of Primal Carnage Extinction. So it's 
essentially, as far as my knowledge, it's the same game as Primal Carnage Extinction, just the PS4 version. I don't know if it's gonna be cross-play. I don't think it's gonna be cross-play. I hope it is, or like, if it's not right now, I hope they make it at some point so it's cross-play, because that would be really awesome if it were, because I think that would help the community of the game grow a lot more, because PS4 players could interact with, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? Okay, okay, fine, fine. Whoa, Jesus, I got destroyed by that guy. Good gravy. I just think it would be really cool to have the two communities kind of merge. So I hope it's cross-play. I'm not too sure of the official date. I'm not going to be playing the PS4 version because I don't own a PS4. It would be the same game except I'd be relearning it with the controller. So, you know, you're not missing much. But for you PS4 players who watch these videos and constantly comment, When's the PS4 version? It should actually be very soon. It's in testing right now, I think. And I think it's this month. There, there's a trailer out for it, too. I could link the trailer in, this, in the description. Oh, no. No, Ovi. No, no. Come back. Yes, I got him. With my machete. Haha. Oh, Carnotaurus. Jesus. I, I got... This game is so much fun when you're, like, you know, in the mood to play it. Just crazy melee action. That's why I like it so much. Damn, I actually got the Spino at long range with the thing. Come on. Come on at me. Come at me, Dyla. Come on at me, Mr. Bony Dyla. You know, yesterday, I ended up watching the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, and I never really played the games, like, ever as a kid. The most I ever really knew about Five Nights at Freddy's uh, was watching a couple of Gaming Beaver videos on it, like, six, seven years ago, during, you know, the middle school and high school years. Uh, so that was really the extent of my knowledge. I, I didn't really know any lore or anything. All I knew was that funny bear with a top hat and his animal buddies kill people and they're also somehow dead children. Um, anyway, a friend of mine uh, explained the entire lore to me like a couple weeks ago. And uh, I, I didn't plan on seeing the movie, which is the crazy thing. But then, uh, you know, after having the lore explained to me, I was like, okay, you know what, I'll give it a shot. And then uh, I gave it a watch yesterday. And even though I had never played the games or anything like that, because I had a basic understanding of the lore, it made the movie so much more interesting to watch. And, like, the lore is honestly kind of sick. And I never thought I'd say that because I never really cared about Five Nights at Freddy's. But I would definitely recommend watching that film. It's it's pretty good. It's a film that's really made for the fans of the franchise. Like, I can imagine a lot of, like, the hardcore... FNAF fans felt the uh, way about that movie as I felt about the Mario movie. And like I said, I'm not even like a massive Five Nights at Freddy's fan or anything, but even then I was like, oh, okay, this movie's sick. And it's crazy how we're seeing a lot of movies recently that are kind of homages to uh, popular video game franchises and they're like actually getting to a point where these films are good and of some sort of quality. And I think the reason a lot of these films get railed by critics is because of the fact that run 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 thank you packy packy actually kind of saved my ass there i've just been running in like circles and there's no dinosaurs attacking me until wait come back come back okay well that sucks but yeah critics just don't seem to like these movies and i think it's because a lot of them require previous context to fully enjoy the movie like with the mario movie and like with the five nights at freddy's movie um don't do it acro Dude, these cryo players today are really annoying. I would have survived that if it weren't for that fucking roof cryo. Just like vomiting all over. Like, look at me, I'm gonna camp on a roof. This is a fun way to play the game. It's like, go away, genuinely. But yeah, very fun movie. I highly recommend it. Speaking of freaking Five Nights at Freddy's, we got Freddy Fazraptor here with his head blown off. <laughs> with a little top hat and everything. I love how goofy this game is sometimes with its cosmetics. Nope, sorry, Sarah. Nope, you're going to- Oh, I'm so sorry, Commando. I tried. I tried my best to save you. No, no, what? No, no, no. <laughs> that is what you get. I shot him. And then the game just said, uh, no, you got pounced. It was worth it to see them both get blown up, though. A fire spino on fire. That is several levels of paradox right there. Tomahawk. Hit him. He's gonna turn around. No, he's just running. Okay, fair enough. All right, I gotta chase this guy down, but we don't have a lot of stamina. I'll tickle him to get him distracted. Yeah, he's on the run. All right, gotta keep up with him. Gotta imagine this, just a... 
guy with a shotgun chasing that. Yeah, yeah. They always do the Walter. Oh. Damn it, Commando. You stole that from me. I had him. You don't gotta pull a Resurrection F on me. Jesus. Hacky over here. What's he up to? Yeah, okay. He's buffed. Yeah, you can see the, the green on him. Oh, I got him. I didn't think that was gonna hit, actually. That was Rex with earmuffs. Ooh, two Sarahs. Sarah team. Got one. Both are dead. Also, I think they gave the machete new animations. This is, yeah, yeah, this is uh, brand new. Hello, Packy. Oh, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. Don't waste your shot. Okay, did some damage. All right, where's our next enemy coming from? He's coming from this way. Here comes the Carnotaurus. Got him, yes. Let's go, revenge kill. Double barrel shotgun is so cheesy. No, 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 I don't think so. Oh, nope, I, okay, just run. Just run, take the corner, take the corner. Wow, that was terrible aim on my part. Good god. I deserve to lose this fight. Got him. Okay. <laughs> Blew his head off. <laughs> his buddy came in to save him. But it didn't work. Joseph Cranium jump scare. Yeah, this is Joseph Crane, by the way. Did you know, fun fact, all the Primal Carnage humans have canon names. Uh, Pathfinder's Joseph Crane, which actually makes sense. I'm a Joseph. He's a Joseph. Pathfinder's my main. He's literally me. Scientist is Maria Hart. Commando is Marcus Tyler. Pyro is Angus McLaughlin. And Trapper is Jackson Stone. So, a little bit of Primal Carnage trivia for you there. Carnotaurus! Got him! I put him in the grave. Because <laughs> he's a skeleton. Maybe I guess the I guess that'll be a double grave. Oh yeah, and don't forget the uh, the humans have uh, the skeleton skins too. It's not just the dinosaurs. You know, I kind of wish they did uh, special event skins for every holiday. Like maybe have free Christmas variants that uh, you have during Christmas. Like I don't know, maybe like a dinosaur with a Christmas tree tail. Oh, no. Ooh, that was a snipe shot if I've ever seen it. Uh, speak of snipe shot, snipe. Come on, Sarah. Come on, Sarah. Come on. Hit him with the machete. Got him! Oh, that was close. He was about to tail with me. I could feel it coming. Uh, yeah, it would be cool to have, like, Christmas variants similar to the skeletons. Maybe Easter variants. Stuff like that, you know? So, are y'all doing anything for Halloween? Like, do you got any costumes planned out? Any, uh, anything interesting happening on Spooky Day? Let me know in the comments, because I am curious as to what you may be going as. Uh, run, 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 run. <laughs> oh, nah. <laughs> Sorry, T-Rex. Uh, hello, Raptor. Oh, he's not dead? Oh, the T-Rex. BAM! <gasps> Go it! No! I was inside! Come on! Oh, I thought I was slick. I thought I was so slick there. Got him. Nice, nice. Yeah, DB is just amazing at taking out bruises. Oh my god. Hello, Mr. Bony Cryo. Here we are as our Triceratops packy. Um, did they buff Packy? Feels like it might be a little more agile. Or maybe not. I don't know. Either way, Packy's still pretty solid. Oh no. Auto balance? Are you kidding me? Auto balance has always just got to come in and ruin everything, don't it? Um, actually, to be honest, I wouldn't mind if I died right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him kill me. Yeah, I'll wait until the teams balance themselves out. So good news is, I have avoided the auto balance. Bad news is, I've been auto-spawned as Nova. Then again, I do get to play as Freddy Faz Nova, so I fail to see the problem here. Three, four, yeah, Nova, I, god, Nova's so easy, but so fun to play. You just gotta get in someone's face and just wiggle around, and then, you know, so long as you get the four hits on them, you win. In that case, two hits. Bad time to use my roar ability, actually, because I'm about to be out of stamina. Uh, they call me Albert Einstein with how smart I am. Um, saying that, I still got a kill from it, so, you know what? Maybe I am a genius. Oh, hello, Mr. DB. Goodbye, Mr. DB. Went as quick as he came. Scientist? Oh, okay. Head blown off. Hate to see it. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. Bitten by a Rex and just flung onto a pipe. That's, that's quite a way to die. I'll use this cryo skin while I still have it. Ooh, direct hit. Hide behind the rock, or the wall, uh, I'm getting an assist for that. Yeah, I didn't think I was getting that kill. Uh, that's spitter life for you. Just assist after assist after assist. Although saying that, you can sometimes get some good rounds where you just get lucky with your, uh, your spit timing and you steal kills from people. Or your Dilophosaurus Venom ends up, uh, really coming in clutch. Ooh, like that. Yeah, he was a one-shot, and we just nipped him once, and there he goes. 
Uh, man, I hate this armor system that they gave to the humans for the, uh, the trank darts. It's kind of annoying. It's weird. It's like a dart gun that has the, you know, drug capabilities to slow down giant dinosaurs. But also those same darts act as steroids for humans. It, it, it's really weird. And on top of that, it halves damage by 50%. And it's kind of, you know, silly if you ask me. <laughs> Man. <laughs> My commando got, uh, <laughs> I mean, he wrecked himself, but I got the kill for it. Oh, hello? I'm, I'm dead, apparently? That sucks. Whoa, that, that, that's an icon? <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh, yeah, hear that? Yeah, that's, uh, Tupa's little sound cue for when he's able to charge. Um, and you can also gain speed by, uh, diving downwards and stuff. And, oh, the stamina regen is a lot slower now. Interesting. But I think they buffed the, uh, what's it called? Yeah, they buffed Tupa's stam regen when he roars to counteract that. Yeah, the main thing is Tupa can't do, like, these crazy BS circles anymore and, like, insta-hit you by, like, air breaking and all this crap. So, it's a lot more, uh, it's a lot more fair now. And yeah, just like that, I use my roar ability and I get some stamina back. So, pretty good. Uh, maybe the stamina regen could be a little more generous? Um, I could definitely see that because it's a little slow. Maybe like speed it up by 15% something like that, but I mean other than that. It's probably fine. I, I Say as I get blasted out of the sky. There we go chameleon carno time. Let's go. Hopefully we don't get shredded in two seconds yeah! You know while we're in here, I'm gonna open my second Halloween gift We get the same skin, but you know just for the approval from the masses We'll give another one. Anyway, now that we just gave them a gift, let's kill them. Oh, okay. Well, well. Uh, oh, a gas masker. Yikes. There we go. Another kill. I love Shift W. It's so much fun. Well, I guess in my case, Period W, because I use Period as my sprint key. Uh, don't ask. Okay, everyone's in here. Yeah, see that? I think I just hit the same guy I hit, and it's like ugh, I didn't do enough damage to hit him because of my damage reduction, or enough damage to hit him, enough damage to kill him. You know what I mean? Uh, can we get at least wait, get one kill? Okay, we got a kill. Yeah, so we're staying alive. Uh, but it's just I don't know. It feels a bit weak. Uh, hit through the wall. I love that. <laughs> Such a dirty exploit. Hello. Okay, he should be dead now because he was envenomated by a uh, dino and. Uh, Okay, I'm in a bad situation here. I'm dead. Wh where was that coming from? Ah, trank rifle, trank rifle, trank rifle. Will it ever be fun? No. Alright, it's packy time. Ooh, that combo! <laughs> Hit by the Seraph, finished by the Pachyceratops. Pachycephalosaratops? Triceracephalosaurus? Whatever you want to call it. This thing looks like it could totally be in one of the Jurassic World app games. Uh, retreat, 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 retreat. No, no, don't get caught on a truck. Retreat. Smack. Smack the pyro. Smack the pyro again. Do the dodge. Hit him. There we go. Pyro down. Second pyro. Come on, attack! Attack, you idiot! Okay, I couldn't attack there for whatever reason. Smack. Uh, run. I'm out of stamina. Man, I, I'm really not in it right now. Okay, there we go. Alright, we're dead anyway, but let's get some damage off. Yeah, we're so done. I'm so done. Yep. Oh, Bear Trap got me. Okay. That's a rare occurrence. I really like this Packy skin, though. I like the mutation, too, but this skin is beautiful. The red throat combined with the green. You know what something interesting is? I feel like everyone thinks of dinosaurs as green. So, by consequence, in trying to make them a little more unique, nobody actually goes for a green dinosaur design. And I feel like there's not enough green dinosaur representation in uh, dinosaur media. So it's always refreshing to see a really nicely designed green dinosaur. Hope I can get one more kill before the match ends. I was not going near that. That was a double barrel and I was going to get one shot by that. Oh, well, we're not going to kill, but we are running into a wall. Nice. All right. Well, that's Halloween. You know, typical stuff for Primal Carnage. New, uh, new skins, new everything, new dino- not new dinosaurs. God, I wish there were new dinosaurs. And until I catch you in the next one, I will be dreaming about her. Some dreams are meant to just die, ain't they?